Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Six Shooter. It's me, Garrett. If you don't recognize me, I've been in some of the older videos from back in the day and then I've been in a lot of the recent new uh, hunting videos. Um, if you're wondering where the heck is Tyler? Tyler unfortunately could not join me on this hunting weekend. Uh, this weekend I'll actually be with my dad. I will have my late season archery tag for deer and my dad got drawn for a elk muzzleloader tag here in Oregon. We're going to be hunting around the Prospect Butte Falls area. Hopefully we get something down for you guys. Uh, we plan on going out all weekend. I got the uh, I got the old Dodge. She's hooked up to my fifth wheel. Got a load of firewood. It's going to be a fun camping trip if anything else. Uh, going to try to get you guys as much footage as I possibly can so Tyler has something to edit. Uh, this is not my forte. Uh, so he's usually the one doing all the filming. So I guess it's my turn this weekend. I'll try not to let you guys down, but... No promises. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys later. Stay tuned. Hey guys, just a quick update. I'm actually gonna pull into the weigh station. I'm kind of curious to see how much uh, I weigh going down the road. I'm gonna weigh the front of the truck first. 43.50. There's the rear of the truck. 4,900. And let's get the trailer here. We're only at 78.50, not too bad for being full of water and supplies and everything like that. So, onward we go. Hey guys, just a quick update for you. It's about four o'clock. Uh, just got the trailer set up, everything's good. Uh, I have to head back into town though to go pick up my wife. She's getting off work here soon. So, I uh, got the trailer set up. Hopefully get back in some light, show you guys uh, what the campground looks like. If not, I'll just film some tomorrow morning. Um, but tomorrow morning, gonna hit the hunt early. Uh, gonna try to get us an elk or a deer down. That'd be awesome. So stay tuned, guys. We're sitting here at camp. Dad's got the grill going. Trailer. Hey guys, a quick update for you. We just took off for a little bit of a hike. Um, didn't see anything that got us excited, so we're on our way back to the truck now. I gotta go check out some other areas. I forgot to do an update this morning, but um, like I said, that's what Tyler's for, but I'm trying. But we're gonna go check out a new area, see if we can find anything. Stay tuned. All right, so my dad's got a brand new muzzler that hasn't shot yet, so we've been actually hunting around with uh, my older one because we know it's sighted in, but uh, haven't had much luck this morning, so we thought, Let's just go and shoot it, get the sights going. So we've got this paper plate here set up and it's about 30 yards just to see where the sights are at. Um, he's got a brand new Thompson Center muzzleloader. Uh, hasn't been shot yet at all. So we're just kind of seeing out of the box where the sights are and we'll just kind of adjust from there. So what kind of load and powder percentage are you going with? Going 70 grains of triple seven powder with a 370 grain maxi ball. Let's, let me see your uh, jug there. Whatever the word. So triple seven, and you said you're doing 70 grains of powder? 70 grains, starting off at 70 grains of powder. And those are the caps you're using, CCIs, number 11s? 11. Yes. And then in there are those maxi balls, right there. That's that paper plate's right there at about 30 yards. Didn't sound like it struck. Okay, let's go see here. So it doesn't look like it hit it, so it looks like we're gonna have to do some adjusting here and all that, so. Hey guys, so we're back at camp. Um, drove around for a little bit and didn't see any sign of elk trying to cross roads or any rub lines from deer. So um, we're just kind of back at camp. I think we're gonna stay down lower tomorrow in the morning. Um, if you stay down lower, it kind of depends on what side of National Forest Service you're on. We'll dictate whether you can shoot a cow or a bull. So we're gonna stay down lower where we can shoot both. It's kind of a hair tag. Maybe have a better chance of finding something. Um, keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so it's the second day. Um, kind of our plan for this morning is just to kind of head out, see if we can maybe cut some elk tracks across the road, uh, kind of scout around in a new area, 
and see what we see. Um, the frustrating thing about this tag is it's extremely weather dependent. So uh, we've kind of had some nice weather. It's been cold, but it's been more kind of sunny and nice. Um, when I was up here last year, I got drawn for this tag and, and there was snow on the ground and I was chasing elk and it was a fun time. But it's, uh, it's extremely frustrating because this is a weather dependent tag and we just don't have the weather. So we're gonna stay down low. That way if we happen to see a cow or a bull, we can shoot either. Um, and then if we happen to run across a deer, hopefully I can fling an arrow at it. But uh, that's just kind of our plan for today. And hopefully we get something down or at least see something, it'd be nice. So keep you guys posted. Well, we actually ended up just getting back to camp. Uh, nothing really eventful happened while we were out uh, bebopping around. Um, it's pretty. It's still pretty dry up here, even though it gets really cold at night. Um, the woods are still pretty dry. We need some weather. That's basically what it boils down to. Uh, while we were out kind of just dinking around, ended up seeing five deer. Um, one of them was just a tiny, I mean, just a tiny little button buck. Um, and only in Oregon, you got to shoot them if they're at least a fork or better. So um, couldn't do anything with that. And uh, so... You know, that's kind of what it boils down to on the elk hunt is that we needed weather. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's a very weather dependent tag. And we just, if we had some snow, it'd be, be tenfold better. But, you know, that's just the way it goes. Um, luckily, Tyler and I have a little, uh, maybe a little hookup on some late season archery for a deer tag. So, or for my deer tag. So hopefully we can get something knocked down and get it all on camera for you guys. Thanks for watching.